So uh, we painted on top of the clip and now it's ready for the uh, wrapping part. So let's go into our folder um, right here and let's pick this wrapping. I believe I searched on Google for like a uh, mummy wrapping or something like that, but it, it took some time to find this wrapping. But anyways, let's just work on it. Uh, what did I do, man? Let's try the um, quick selection tool. Yeah, obviously it's not working. Let's control D that. Let's try the other one, the magic one tool. Maybe if we take out the black, it might be easier. Uh, excuse me, Photoshop. Yeah, this is much easier. Okay, so we got this. I Both of them look nice, but I'm just going to take the top part. Um, so let's take the top part out. I'm sorry about that, you guys. My tablet just decided to turn off by itself. So right now I'm on the mouse. Nevertheless, let's grab this section, cut it, come back here, paste it. It's right here. Uh, let's do image, uh, I mean layer, sorry, matting, the fringe. Let's see if it can take out some of that black stuff. And mm, no, it didn't. Actually, it's not a big deal. It's okay, because we're going to paint on top of it anyways. Okay, so let's make sure we are on top of the clip itself. Uh, let's make a copy of this. I, I'm just holding Alt and then dragging it. And then we can hide this. And let's throw it here in the bottom. Need a backup. I'm going to grab this. Let's see, how do we want to position this baby? Absolutely, I don't know, but we're just going to try and see what happens. Uh, let's do something maybe like this or like this. God knows. God only knows. Um, well, if you want to see it take effect, how about we snap it first to the AK? So we're going to hold Alt, snap it. <laughs> and now it's snapped to the actual clip. Mm, let's see. That's cool. Let's do one like this. Hold Alt again. Copy it. Uh, control left bracket to bring it down. And let's do this. So like it's kind of being wrapped. Mm, maybe like that. This is going to be completely up to you, by the way, you guys. So... Uh, let's see, we can do this, can make it a little bit smaller, uh, just like that, that's cool, control J one more time, oops, my bad, this layer, the top layer, control J, alt to snap it back, control T, let's bring it, and uh, how do we want to wrap this? Let's see, we want to wrap it in a way that looks like halfway decent. Um, you can always erase the extra stuff, so don't worry too much about it. Uh, see, what if I do this? Yeah, there you go, that looks cool. But we're going to have to work a lot on the lighting, but it's not a big deal. Okay, I'm going to keep it this way, but I'm going to put it under this layer now. Let's see what happens if I do it this way. Maybe we'll get something more interesting. Huh. Yeah, it's getting there. Oh, uh, let's flip it around. And maybe we'll do something like this, maybe. So it's coming down there and then just like that. Okay, let's grab the top layer again. Uh, let's do Alt this time and drag it, making a copy. And then let's do something like maybe uh, just underneath this layer. Let's do uh, Enter, bring it under this layer. And now let's do something like this, maybe. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to say this is fine. Now, if you see that your wrapping is going on top of the AK itself, you can just come back to the actual layer itself and start deleting this stuff. That's cool. Um, 
let's see can we arrange this stuff a little bit better so it looks nicer somehow yeah there you go that's yeah there you go that's a much more convincing wrapping to me so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna keep them separate for now but we're gonna select this bottom layer this one right here i'm gonna lock the transparency on it because we're gonna do some painting on it we are on this layer so uh if you guys guessed what we're gonna do then you guys are awesome and i congratulate you for that because we are going to paint some shadows some shadows because when one wrapping goes on top of the other guess what happens shadows happen my friend shadows happen my friend let's see this part yeah this part is going to get shadows from the part on top of it just like that and then this last one is going to get shadows as well from which part from right here just where they touch there you go some shadows here maybe some shadows there cool and let's see now we also need to make it look like it's wrapping around so we're gonna give it some shadows so it wraps around the actual gun there you go now you see it's like going straight and then whoop, wrapping around now look at this one we're gonna do this one it was the top layer right there you go lock the transparency now see how flat it is now we want to wrap it just throw some shadows on it very slow and now you guys see it's going straight and then all of a sudden it starts curving and then you can do the same thing with this side as well don't worry about the lighting we will address that next same thing for this layer right here brush make sure it's locked and wrap it not too much be very careful let's do this layer uh, brush wrap cool what's left this layer needs to be wrapped a little bit too there you go man this is looking nice okay now we got all of this stuff and it looks wrapped it looks nice but it's just too bright and it's just too awkward so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab all of these and i am going to group them for now and it's going to be a complete mess don't worry about that but i'm going to hit Control j to make a copy hide it i need a backup in case i do shout and then i'm going to come back to this group right here I'm going to hit uh, a new layer on top of it shift control e and then lock them back now we have one layer ready to go we can paint and work on it so first things first let's uh bring the light down so control l just to kind of blend it and if you guys look at the navigator like i told you before you can tell like if it's too bright like you see too bright you see it's right there your eyes are just hitting there so you bring it down bring it down keep your eye over there until it kind of makes sense to you and that's probably where it should be in terms of lighting so this is cool let's hit that uh let's do control u to colorize it because i don't want it to be this color you can obviously color it so let's do colorize and now it turned into some kind of shady thing let's increase the saturation so we can see what kind of color it is and let's bring it into that orangey kind of yellowy orangey that's too orangey and that's too yellowy so kind of somewhere in here now uh let's do Control l again i want to see if i can just kind of reduce some of the harshness of those shadows yeah there you go just a little bit just a little bit and then maybe darker just a tad bit darker there you go that looks good uh let me see maybe you can bring those back a little bit in here okay now let me show you another tool that we haven't talked about and it is the actual uh dodge and burn so right here dodge and burn so let's do burn first i'm gonna grab that we're on the burn tool okay so we selected the burn tool and basically what it does is it starts making the highlights a little bit darker or the mid-tones 
or the shadows. So I'm going to select the midtones because there's just way too much brightness um, on the midtones itself. And I'm just going to smoothly, just smoothly take out those harsh highlights that were from the original photo itself, just very slowly. And that's in the midtones. And you see now it brings everything back into like natural lighting. You see, it's not like too heavy on in terms of the lighting because it was just in the wrong lighting from the beginning. And then um, we can actually make it smaller and actually work on those edges a little bit more. We can switch it to the shadows, make the shadows a little bit stronger, but be very careful because this is very harsh and very strong. So be very, very, very careful with this one. Okay. And then you can go back from Dodge. Uh, I mean, from burn to Dodge. Dodge is going to work on the um, highlights and it's the same thing. You can do the shadows, highlights or midtones. And um, Okay, so we're using dodge. Now we can bring those highlights back, but just ever so slightly where I need them. So just a touch here, just a touch there, touch here. Don't overdo it, you guys, just a little bit, okay? Now, um, we need to put some contact shadows. So you can do them on the gun itself or on the, um, the wrapping itself. It's up to you. I'm gonna do it on the gun layer itself. So I'm gonna hit B, brush select our soft brush right here and then let's make it a little bit smaller and right here where the wrapping touched the clip there has to be some shadow and obviously you want to lock the transparency so you don't paint all over the place let's do that very slightly very 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 slightly you can even do it here touch it up just touch it up there you go. And then if there's parts that are showing from the bottom of the clip, just do that. And there you have it. Done. Now, if the color is still not too nice, you can go back to the layer, hit Control U, and then you can work with the saturation a little bit more. Make it a little bit more. Just don't push it too much, you see, because that's going to be just crap. Push it a little bit more, just like that. There you go. Now, when we pushed it this way, we gave it more color. It obviously became uh, brighter. So we're going to hit OK. We're going to come back and we're going to bring it just a tad bit darker. Just said it blends a little bit more. We can even bring the brightness right here. Anyways, it's always a balance. When you do something, like you increase the saturation, you got to work with the colors again. But anyways... There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is done. You can hit save. Uh, next, we're just going to throw in some textures and stuff, but you guys are pretty much done with the main gun design. Okay, let's grab the layer that we did for the wrapping with the AK. Merge them together. And there you have it. Now let's put in the icing on the cake, just some details here and there. So I have like this texture kind of thingy. It's like a paint splatter, whatever. Um... Let's scale it down a little bit. Let's put it somewhere just like that for now. And let's um, hit E to erase. Lock the transparency. Click B for brush. Select like a hard brush. And then let's pick like a yellow. Kind of like that. And let's just paint it just like that. And then I am going to uh, hit Alt, just like that, to snap it. And then we are going to very minimally, but tastefully, throw some gun, uh, I mean gun, <laughs> paint splatter on top of this gun. So just very little, man. It's just, this is just icing on the cake, you guys. You don't even have to do this step, but it looks cool to me, and I'm just going to do it. So we'll do that. Then we can always bring the brightness down if it's too much. That looks cool. That looks nice. And then I can grab a copy of it. Let's do Control J. And I want to put it on top of the actual handle. So let's see, here's the handle. And here's my painting. I'm going to bring this on top of this. Snap it. And again, very tastefully. Don't overdo it, you guys. Just be very artistic with your strokes because the more you put, the uglier it's going to look or it's just going to call for attention. You just want this thing to look nice and have like a balance to it. 
So let's see, let's put it in a way where it's not too much, it's not too obvious, but it's still there. Here, I like that. If it looks too dark, I mean, if it looks too light, make it darker. Let's see, where else do I want to drop it? Let's put it on the handle, maybe. Sure, why not? I'll do a copy of it. Where's my handle? It's right there. Uh, here is my, that's not it. Where is it? It's this one. Drag it right here. Alt. And then grab it. And again, just very little, very little, very, 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 very little. Very, 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 very little. Just like that. Cool. Where else? Let's put some on the filter itself. Um, we'll grab this. Control J. Where's my filter? That's the layer. And this is my splat. And uh, we'll put it right here. Oops. Was it this? No, it wasn't. Oh, okay. It's there already. So now snapped, let's bring it here. Now for this one, I want to make it black. So we'll just do this and then we'll do um, easiest ways just to desaturate it and then just make it black. Okay, there it is. Alt, snap, and very minimal, you guys. Don't overdo it, please. Because when you overdo it, especially when, like we're almost done, you know, we went through all this effort and we did so much work. And the last thing you want to do is just overdo it and make it look like crap. So just a touch, just a touch. That, that's it. That's it. That's all I want here. Let's put it somewhere where it's not interfering, but it's still there. And there you have it. Now you guys can go ham with this. You know, you can go back on the AK itself. And you can start painting if you want. Take out details that you don't need. Um, keep stuff that you like. This is completely up to you. We are actually done. So from here, we're just having fun. Here. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. You know, let's take out these wordings. Stuff like that. Stuff we don't need. They're just very minimal. You can take out these bolts if you don't like them. Take out some bolts. We're just putting some finishing touches to this design. But in terms of the actual design, it's done. And we're good to go here. Let's take some stuff from here away. And there you have it. Stuff like this. Maybe we don't want this stuff. We can take it out real quick. There you go. Scratches, dents. You name it, just go ham on it if you want to. If you don't want to, then you're done. And let's zoom out, look at it one final time. And control save. And there you go, you guys. We finished the design part. Uh, we made a post apocalyptic AK 47. It looks dope. In the next part, we are going to. Um, Take this stuff and make it into uh, an actual website where you can do some drag and drop uh, using HTML, CSS, and, and JavaScript. So stay tuned. Uh, we're going to cut the parts, export them, and then bring them into uh, VS Code and start some coding. So thank you so much for sticking around. This was a very, very tedious uh, tutorial, especially for me to make and record. So thank you. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.